Hi, I'm David and we're going to be looking at multi-trim in PowerDirector 7. I've placed two video clips in the timeline. I'll highlight one and then select the multi-trim button. Hovering the cursor over a button will cause a title to display. In this one here it says stop. This one over here it says scene detection. Mark in, mark out. And this one says enable magnifier. And that is the one we're going to click now. With the magnifier we have more editing information. Click on the decrease magnifier and a large visual timeline is spread out before you. Increasing the magnifier localize the area down to individual frames. Multitrim has two sliders here and here and a magnifier, which is this all the way around here, which covers the displayed area in the visual timeline. Scenes can be segmented using the split button. Here's how. Move the slider and the split button highlights. Click on it and the scene becomes a segment and is displayed here. The more scenes are created with split, more are displayed. Scenes can be split in multi-trim by using the counter which shows the current time position of the video. Highlight by clicking on the current time counter. On your keyboard type in a figure. I'm going to enter 3 for 3 minutes followed by 53 and 9 frames. And you see the sliders moved across to the exact position I recorded here in the current time. I'm going to click the split button and it was as easy as that. So you can use the counter, you can use the slider and you can be very precise. Exact frame position can also be achieved by using the previous and next frame buttons. Multitrim has mark in and mark out buttons located just here and these will allow for definitive video editing and scene segment removal. So let's start. Let's put a mark in point just there, move the slider along. Perhaps a little bit more. Perhaps we want to be on that frame in particular. We want to save that frame, yes. Let's mark out, move along again to another scene. We want to remove that one or that one. I think that would be about right. That one there perhaps. Yeah, that's the one I want to remove. So we go mark in, move it along again. mark out. So we're ending up with only a couple of items that need to be removed. We can invert it so we have the two we thought we'd taken out actually stay there. And we can invert it back. We can remove these simply by clicking on one and click the remove button. We have an original button which will play the whole clip from start to finish. We have an output which will only play the output files which are these and this one and will miss out the middle altogether. We have an adjust volume button. We can move the slider up, increase the volume. We can mute the clip by clicking on this button here. And the symbol changes to a mute button no audio. Let's reverse it back. We have a new clip here now which we're going to use to segment uh, with scene detection. Click on the scene detection button and we have yes split the scenes for me or no just mark the scene breaks. If we mark the scene breaks we would have just the markers showing one line there, one line there and one line there say for instance. If we're going to split the scenes all the scenes will show up on the right hand side. 
let's split the scene so you can actually see them click, o click yes and then click OK and there we have three scenes on the right hand side and we've got them marked here as well so we can I easily identify them click on this and it goes to the exact start point where each of those scenes are if we wish to remove one highlight and delete click the remove button we also have another button which has now come alive sort of thing is the previous scene and next scene if we click on the previous scene the slider jumps back so we go to the next scene it moves down here but we're using this button down here to do it for us and finally when you've done your little bits in multi trim you click OK and the changes are applied to the timeline So let's click OK and examine the timeline video editing with multi trim and here we have finished with segmented scenes into clips just as we wanted